Hey guys, it's me, Krul, back again with another video on this channel. Today we'll be watching reaction to Tiara Soyon with her new song, Interview. And this is a vocal live version of the song. Um, yeah, because there's no music video or anything like that. But it's still cool that she does this. And I guess on another note, it's even more cool because it's live. And live always sounds really, really nice if you're doing well. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. Of course, I'm really excited for new Tiara related content all the time. And uh, that's why I'm checking this out on the day it came out. And as soon as I could, because I just came home like an hour ago, had to relax a little bit, have like a really bad day today for some reason. It's just nothing is going right today. But yeah, just reacted to the public stuff that came out on my channel just now. And now I'm watching the Soyon new song and I'm really excited, man. And even though I might not be 100% conveying this segment as much as I may might have had in some of my other TR relations, just know I am very proud of her and I will thoroughly enjoy this even if it doesn't show I'm just a bit tired you know so please uh, spare spare me uh, some slack to today and yeah let's check this out if you're new to the channel and you like what I do make sure to subscribe I have daily k uh, on my channel on YouTube and also I have a Patreon channel if you want to support me even further or you want more content then that's something you could check out the link to that is in the description of this video or on my website kultimo.com and you can find stuff like last year generations, album reviews, TV show, and K drama rations, as well as you can vote on a lot of polls. So yeah, that's that. And a quick shout out to my patrons for much. Special goes out to for the joy at now, Miss Rubens and Eldritch. Thanks so much. And oh yeah, one last thing I wanted to say is that in the comment section of this video there will be um, a playlist to all of my TR rations as well, because I have reacted to so many songs from them so far and uh, some of them solos as well but most of the reactions are actually to group songs so um a lot of group songs and i am still not done with with tiara of course i have about like 15 or so music videos left and then two or three japanese music videos which will be on a page on because i can't do them on youtube due to copyright but yeah um still some stuff to go for sure and i think what's wrong is gonna be the next one so look forward to that and yeah soyon's interview here we go Interview the song. See, Kubune de Yagi John Purus is a guy. Oh, that's that's trippy. So, the voice of the interview um, interviewer is only on the left ear, and her voice is only on the right. And they are making this like an interview. Oh, I don't know if I like the sound thing. If you're watching on the phone, you probably don't even hear that, but it's weird. It's really isolated. Like the guitar is only on the left and her voice on the right. She looks so beautiful. I'm just gonna say, if you're listening to this on earphones or headphones, and you have the same as, as like the same problem, so to speak, as me, um, where you only hear her voice on the right side. This is intended, but I don't like that they did that because I never do like that for any song. I think it's cool, actually, if a song is normally, you know, stereo on both sides, but then at certain parts of the song, like, plays around with that. So, like, let's say there's, like, a high note and they go, like, back and forth. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Um, it's kind of like, wee, wee, you know, it's kind of cool to do that, but I don't like when there's only on one side. Most of the time, this is actually not intended and just bad production. I doubt it here though, um, because yeah, it's a 1K. They definitely have to, didn't, it's not, it's, it's intended for sure. Um, mm, it's making her sound, her, her voice sound empty a little bit, which is absolutely not the case for her voice. I know her voice will. Um, yeah, it's an it's unfortunate choice, to be honest. Still trying to enjoy it though, for what it is. 
I wonder if it's gonna be different on Spotify if it's on Spotify. Which it mm, pretty much surely will be, right? I have to say though, I'm very happy she's making more music. That's so nice. I'm happy she's, uh, did I just say hoppy? Happy and hopeful, yeah. I, I'm hopeful that she's happy um, with her choice to make more music. I don't think anybody forces her, but I hope she enjoys it. That's what I mean. live too it's not like a studio live it's an actual live i love when they do high notes and then go back into lower register and calmer tones song to me it sounds like a person that grew through her life a lot and, and learned a lot of things and now is ready to move on and to to go back to better places and more happiness that's what it sounds like to me it's like a it's like a person that went through a lot but is now aiming for happiness again basically in one sentence <laughs> Jesus Christ, my god, one decay, stop that shit. Anyways, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna check out quickly if I can find us on Spotify and see if the sound is better there. I think her name was Park Soyeon, right? But there's also another Park Soyeon, so this is gonna be... I was weird to find... Maybe she's just Soyeon on... on Soyeon? I think, yeah, it's So Space Yon. Pretty sure. They are all the same as on here, but this one is not on here yet. So, uh, yeah, it's not on Spotify yet, so I'm not sure if it's gonna be there soon, but mm, sadly it's not yet. Um, really looking forward to that because I wanna know, and I'm, I'm, I'm like hopeful that it sounds better, that it's not just on the right side of my ear. Uh, this, is, this, this was a very weird listen. I'm most likely never gonna watch this video again. Um, that's not. This sounds wrong, but it's just because the choice they made with the sound thing is just bad. I'm sorry, I don't like it. Um, sure, I guess on phone I could watch this on phone. It probably sounds amazing. Um, because phone usually never does comp like a difference between left right. Uh, they they can't. The, the sound system is not uh capable of that. Basically, to to differentiate differentiate. Um, but. Anyways, uh, that was Soyeon's interview song. I find the concept quite cool. You know, the way they started with the interviewer asking something. I don't know what exactly they asked. That was probably kind of important to the song as well. But then again, we didn't have lyrics or I guess subtitles or the whole song. And neither for the beginning with the, the question. But uh, it was nice that she answered that and then began to sing. Um, so it's definitely... A question that was asked and then probably the whole song is based off of that question and it's kind of the answer to that. Um, that's what I'm assuming. Mm, I also liked how they began with the question on the left ear, then the then the, the answer on the right ear and then I just wish the, the part where she began to sing would just be on both ears normally like a normal song. I don't see the reason why they kept that only on the right ear and then we had like literally only her voice is literally like 
her microphone input was only on the right ear and then the whole instrumental, like the guitar, was on the left ear. And it was so trippy because the guitar was really loud on the left ear and her vocal was... It just sounded... I don't know. <laughs> it sounded like I'm in an empty room and she's just singing without any song. That's how it sounded on the right ear. And it was both very disconnected from each other. There was no harmony between the two things. It was like there's one song, there's another song. Like only in one or two scenes, I actually felt like there's some connection. The, the way the, the rhythm really matched. But uh, yeah, the choice to do that was bad. The song itself is kind of cool. It's definitely kind of an upbeat ballad. It seems, as I said, like it's a song to, to move forward, to um, go to a better place and to be happy. That's my question. Uh, my, my question, my, my interpretation of this. Uh, question I thought about the interview thing again um, do let me know you what you think about the song and also what the message of this is if you know like a translation for the song or anything so that would be cool and um, yeah if you want to then you can let me know if this is uh, the same on phone or like if this happened to you as well with the sound or if I'm the only one here uh, or I guess if this is only happening on um, headphones that pick up that differentiating sound uh, unfortunate a little bit, but still, I'm happy again that she does more music. That's that's the main reason why I'm here, you know. I'm supporting her. I'm spreading the love. I hope people will enjoy this, and I hope that more people will see this, more people will support her and Tiara in general, and that's why I'm doing this for, you know. So, again, hopefully it's on Spotify, because I want to hear the song well, not in this version. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, that's it for me. Have a nice day. Peace.